Hey guys, it's Margarita. Thanks for coming back. Um, if you have never been here before, this is my beauty channel where I talk about like hair and makeup. So anyway, um, I just got my hair done. Just got my color done, actually. And um, so what's been happening is I've been thinking about some bangs. And I haven't had like bangs, oh my God, in like, Mm, over 10 years basically I had like the full bang it was really cute but those kind of bangs like take forever to grow out you know they're really thick and you have to like you know while they're growing out you got to trim them push them to the side I I'm not really looking to do that so I've been thinking about having like this Bridget Bardot kind of like little bang like a 70s bang like this late 60s 70s bang and I figured, let me do it after the summer. Now, it's almost full, and you know, I do hair for a living, so even when my clients want bangs, I always say, do it after the summer. You know, you don't want bangs in the summer, especially like you just got a new style, and you're gonna be annoyed. They're gonna be like sitting on your forehead, you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna wind up clipping them back anyway. So, bangs are good. If you're going to get new bangs, do your look full, winter, spring. Summer, don't try your new look till after. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I know I would have gotten annoyed. Also, I do have some breakage in the front. Um, a lot of people do, especially blondes. And as you can see, this is broken compared. You see this? It's, and I think because I usually wear my part, I'm trying to fix it, I usually wear it like this. So this is the area that's always being, I guess, fixed all the time. Usually it's, I mean, they say it's good to move your part around because this is the area you're gonna be playing with. So I feel like it's the most delicate area. It's where I highlight the most, see? So this area is probably, that's why it's so broken. It, it's the most delicate part of your hair is usually the front. You know, you're putting it behind your ear, you know. So I figure, you know what, this part, is kind of short anyway, and I wind up camouflaging it, like I put it behind my ear and I blend it in with my hair, so it's not a real big deal that it was short, but I think it's time I cut it, and I have not cut my own bangs in a really long time. Like, I'll, you know, I'm able to give myself little angles, and, you know, I, I cut hair, so that's why I do it. And my hair is kind of long. I just trimmed it. So, we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna get it over with. I'm gonna do it. So I have my mirror. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at the mirror. So basically, you're gonna see me cutting my bangs and I'm gonna try and teach you a little bit, you know, in the interim. Okay, so you're gonna need a comb. I have shears. I also, um, I have thinning shears for any bulkiness and I, I want it a little wispy on the ends and you're gonna need clips. So I have a little bit of these smaller clips. Let me show you. Like these are, you know, these little clips. You really do anything that's flat, you know, a flat clip. So you're gonna now, if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the mirror. So I'm gonna do a middle part. I really don't wear my hair too much in the middle because I was just like, what the heck is going on? So now I, well, I'm gonna change it up. I've had the same hair style for a really long time and bangs are really fun. I feel like they're not a humongous change that you're doing on yourself, but they look like a big change. You know, it's just bangs, but it makes a big impact on your look. And it looks so cute when you have a cute little bang, you put your hair up in the top knot, I love that. It just, uh, bangs could be really fun. Okay, so I have my middle part. Now you're gonna decide how far you want the bangs back, or you know, back on your head. You don't wanna be in the middle of your head, cause that's like, uh, that's how thick your bangs are gonna be, depending on how far you're gonna go back. So, let's just see, I'm gonna, also part it in a V, like that. 
I'm trying to see. I think that should be good. And now I'm gonna clip this area out of the way so I don't cut it. We don't want that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and the V. It's always better also to do less than more because once you cut it, you're done. It's cut. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to see through my hair right now. Okay, so we got a V going on. Okay, as you can see how like short this side is to this side. So now this part of your hair, if you're gonna do a bang that's shorter to longer, like a real like Bardot bang, like Bridget Bardot, look her up. You know, it's like a 70s kind of bang. So this part right in the middle is gonna be the shortest and then it's gonna be a gradient to longer. So you're gonna to have to decide how short you want this first piece. So I'm gonna look. This is also something you should be doing that I personally like to do. I like to usually cut hair dry and bangs dry because then they, you. When it's wet, you don't have that natural volume and you're pulling, don't pull. Lightly make it even. If you're pulling, okay, and then in my natural volume, I'm, it's gonna be too short, okay? So that's why I like to do dry cuts sometimes. So actually I'm gonna try and do it on this side first and I'm not gonna do too much tension because I don't want these bangs too short. I'm really nervous because, you know, cutting my bangs, that's like kind of a big step. Now I have bangs. Ooh, okay. And you know what's really crazy? My boyfriend is um, gonna pick me up soon, so he's gonna see me with these bangs. He knew that I wanted to do them, but I don't think he knew I was gonna do them today. So, it's, a, it's fun, it's fun. I feel like fall is for like change. I don't know why, people are like, gotta change my hair, it's fall, gotta cut my hair, it's fall. All right. I think it's because like mentally, like it's the beginning of the school year for kids. So it's like new, we have that in our head. Like it, it's like a new year in September, even though the really the new year starts in January, people try a lot of new things in September. I think because mentally that's when school starts. So, okay, my rant is done. All right, I'm really pro 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 procrastinating. So I'm gonna do a light tension and I'm thinking I'm gonna, Oh, I'm trying to think, what do I want? Maybe right there. Maybe right there, let me try there. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. And I also, as you see, I didn't go like this straight across downwards because it's all gonna be in a gradient. So let's see, we're gonna match both sides, obviously. Wanna make sure that's even. And I like to point cut so it doesn't look too blunt. These are gonna be wispy. You wanna see how I'm doing it? So both bangs are even, that's how you're gonna measure it. So what I'm gonna do now, that I see that this is where I started the bang. So I'm gonna, that's my guide and I'm gonna go down. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what's happening here. Okay, okay. And the hair is all on my lap. Okay. Okay. 
and you're gonna want to make sure your scissors are sharp. That's important. Okay. So we're gonna just see right here and just blend this little area in. I'm right here. I'm just gonna point cut a little bit. Okay. See, I could always go shorter, which is cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna, how I'm gonna do it. Is now that's how I'm gonna measure feels nice to get rid of this finally like make it even as I was going for the past couple months I was like like growing it out like cleaning it up because it was damaged oh hello how are ya okay so I'm just gonna Point cut a little bit and these are the bangs I just want to see where it hits on me this area is just a tiny tiny bit longer that's how I measure like each area each section I see where it hits me on my face you can do if you have a little bulkiness on the ends here you can get like a thinning shear and it just takes some of the bulkiness away. This is what a thinning shear looks like. So it doesn't take length, it more, it just takes a little bit of the bulk out. I'm just gonna make sure it does blend in with the rest. Let's see what's going on. How's it look? What do, you, what do you think? I'm liking this. I think it's so fun. Oh my God, I love it. So how you're gonna wanna like style these bangs, how I kinda did it, you're gonna have to get your hair dryer and blow it out downwards like that. You may have to train your bang and blow it downwards, blow it this way, blow it that way. So then you're gonna have this how it falls downwards. It's my stomach if you heard that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be right back. I really wanna put in my clip-ins and like style this up and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so I'm back and I'm playing around with these and I really like them. You can see my hair with the bangs and I feel like if I wanted to put like some pieces up, I have like this cute little wispy bang or just you know or all up like a little top knot and I have this cute little thing going on so I am happy with my decision <laughs> it's fun it's fun to have, like try something new and I'm glad it, they look pretty good um, well uh, thanks for watching and being a part of this experience with me um, don't forget to subscribe you know it's right there and like the video and comment below. Let me know what you think. And um, I probably am gonna have the finished look on my Instagram, it's margaritas.beauty. So um, thanks for watching, bye-bye.